Hello and happy 2013. Um, I decided that we're going to be flexible this year. That's what I decided. So we are going to do a flexibility challenge this month since we never got it done in August. Basically, I think you guys are all motivated to get your workouts in, but um, we all kind of slack at the end of the workout. So I'm just going to give you a quick, like maybe even seven to 10 minutes so that when you're cooling down after your workout, you're making sure you get your full stretch in. Pretty simple and basic. It's going to be more about how you stretch, um, not all these complex things. So you're just going to start after a workout. I don't care what order you go in, but you're going to do a straddle, just legs apart. And the first thing you're going to do is bring one arm under and one arm over, and you're going to go down towards one leg. You're going to stretch through your back and your hamstring. Here's the key. You have to hold every stretch for 15 seconds. Okay, you don't actually change the form of your muscle until you sat there for 15 seconds. So if you're only gonna do it for 10 seconds, don't bother doing it, all right? And then you're gonna go over to the other side for 15 seconds. And I'm not gonna sit here and show you all 15 seconds because you're gonna get super bored. But you're trying to get this shoulder down to the ground. You're gonna reach out to the front for 15 seconds, stretching your inner thighs. Your goal is to get all the way down. Eventually, um, great 2013 goal to do that. And then it's going to get harder the, closer, you know, the further out you bring your straddle versus right here, okay? So um, you want it to hurt just a little bit, not so much that you're going to cry, but just to that little point of pain. Then you're going to go around doing a straddle one more time and actually turn your shoulders and lay down on your legs. So now you're just reaching down, okay? 15 seconds, 15 seconds, 15 seconds again, all right? Then legs in together, one foot in front of the other, and you're going to reach forward, stretching through your tush. 15 seconds with the one in front, you're going to switch, 15 seconds with the other one in front, okay? Now you're going to do a pike, legs right in front of you, and you're just going to reach up and try to come down, grab onto wherever your legs, wherever you can grab on, and then bend at the elbows, trying to get your elbows down to the ground. You can see I'm horrible at this one. So this one I really just try to get right there where it hurts. And you kind of just got to think of something else, truthfully. Hold it for 15 seconds, and then you're going to just Bring your hands out a little bit further and go down a little bit more. And I'm talking an inch is it. Pulled for another 15 seconds. Yeah? Then, um, legs, you're just going to do lunges. So you're going to hold right here. So you're just one foot in front of the other. Sit into this. You don't want your knee going over your ankle. You hold that one for 15. You lean back. And this leg is straight. And you try to come down and stretch your hamstring for 15. And then I am truthfully gonna get you to try to just extend out and go out as far as you can. So if that's right here, that's great. Just wherever your legs can go out to, okay? Um, I'm just gonna, I'm a gymnast. So let's see if we can make some you learn the splits over the air. Then other side, lunge. Remember your knee's not over your toe, 15 seconds. Sit back into it, lay down over your chest, 15 seconds. You can hold this for 30 even if you want, if you really want a good stretch day or even up to a minute is great. Um, especially when you're out here to hold it for over a minute is awesome. Okay, so 15 seconds. And then um, last thing that you're going to do is just arms. So we tend to neglect our chest. So you're going to lay on your tummy, arms out to the side, just flop over and then bring this arm back. So you're just right here. That's going to stretch both of your pecs. And then you're going to do the same. That's 15 seconds, same other side. Blah, 15 seconds. Okay, so. Below this video, I wrote down each one of those, but remember, you need to go to the point where it hurts just a wee bit, yeah, and you, if you're not going to hold it for the full amount of time, then don't bother doing the stretching activity because what happens is your muscles are like a rubber band, and when you just like do a stretch real quick right here and pop back up, you actually, it's just like a rubber band. You stretch them and they come right back together. But when you actually hold it, that is when you do a plastic stretch and you actually deform the muscle so it's longer. Um, we're going to do this for this month. Every time you do your stretching, you get one point and you can, you're going to just post on there, I completed the at home fit challenge. That can be after your workout. That can be, you know, your days that you don't work out. Maybe just get up and do it in the morning would be awesome. And I believe that's it. So just post, check in on Facebook. So you just say, just completed on your homepage, just completed that home fit 24 stretching at like the at sign, right fit, and it'll pop up right fit on there. So it tags it and then we can see that you tagged us. So that's all. Good luck. Happy January.